many people have their first Roblox games, most of them were never completed. Like me, I have created many Roblox games when I was young, but the first one I ever completed was Red. Red was created on February 15, 2021. When it was created, it was originally just a red base plate with a random blue part within the base plate. When you touched that said blue part, you got teleported to a blue base plate. And that's where the game ended for a, about a year. At January 26, 2023, the first major update happened. The map was no longer just a base plate, but a tiny little village. Throughout the months, Red was randomly outed adding new areas to explore, like white, black, and corrupted. But on February 5th, 2023, the ending of the game was released. To access the ending, a player first must make it all the way to the corrupted lands. Whilst in the corrupted lands, the player must find the corrupted glasses, which were located in this house. Once the player obtains the corrupted glasses, he had to go back to green into this mysterious rainbow building. Once entered, the player would be teleported to a Call of Duty Zombies like game, where the player had to make it to the end of a laboratory. At the end, the player would face the glitched king, beating him with awards you with the end badge. But on February 13th, 2023, a secret ending was added, which you needed to listen to an audio which was in the corrupted lands that contained a code in it. Die. One. Two. Five. Then, the player had to go back to the ending area where a secret house can be spotted. Enter the code and the ending was yours. This game also had a DLC which released on the 24th of March 2020. But we will uh, talk about that in a later chapter of this video. The story of Red goes as follows. You play as a random person in the simulation. The simulation is corrupted because of a glitch. And because of this said glitch, only one color is shown. Also, within the simulation, there is a loop. That loop is that you discover a new color in an abandoned house. Whether it be blue, green, or red, it doesn't matter. The player character realizes he is in a loop. So he tries to find a way to break the said loop. In blue, he meets Blue Red. He is a person who was exiled from the village because of his red light. He tells you that in red, there's a bunker that you need a code for. The code is 6583. Keep that in mind. So the player goes back to red and goes to the bunker. In the bunker, the player character mixes every color and you go to white through the loop. Though, the loop is still not broken. In white, you talk to this guy and he gives you a key. With that key, you can unlock the abandoned house and you discover something black in it. When the player character touches it, he ventures out to the void, aka black. In black, he finds another bunker. You have to use the same code as the red bunker. This is why I told you to keep that code in mind. In this bunker, you try to mix the colors again, but this time, the process goes wrong. You decide to go to the testing room button to continue mixing the... But the simulation corrupts. But you find the corrupter glasses in the corrupted lands, which lets you bypass this corruption and you go to the root of the corruption, the glitched king. When you beat him, the simulation shows all colors and is no longer corrupted. But that's what you think. In the secret ending, you talk to the creator of the simulation, Mike. Mike tells you that the glitch was not a glitch, but a way to keep the simulation safe. Without the glitch, King, the simulation could crumble any minute. He tells you to enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Purpleizer came out on March 24, 2023. It took about a week of development. In Purpleizer, you play as the same person but forgot all your memory, but you still slightly remember them. You don't touch the color in the abandoned house, but go to the now rotten bunker, destroyed from its old age. 
When you try to mix all the colors in the bunker, the process fails, but a back door opens. In this back door room, you find a computer to relive your memories. This takes you back all throughout your memories, whether it be red, white, the facility, and your fight with the glitched king. Then you remember what to do. Like you go back to the bunker to escape the simulation. So it's finally time to tell you my thoughts on the game. Well, I think the game is... It's fine. The gameplay works, but can get repetitive at times. Basically a walking simulator, but with some puzzle solving and platforming thrown in. I really like the story though. It's unique and has topics I like, like being in a simulation and all of that. The game is kinda hard and just expects you to know the location and everything. And at some areas, the game can be flat out frustrating because how confusing or long it is. Like, how in God's green earth are you supposed to figure out that you have to talk to this guy, Bread? Or how do you know that the bunker in black uses the same code as the bunker in red? My favorite thing in red is definitely Purpleizer. It's unique and has way better visuals than the rest of the game, but it's still kind of a walking simulator. Though, I remember having so much fun working on this game, and that's what counts, right? As for the future of Red, I didn't make a sequel, or should I say prequel to the game. The game was published on Bottle of Penguins, a game creating studio made by me and my friends. The game is titled Reality Evolution Discovery. Well, you get it? It's an acronym for a uh, Red. <laughs> if you like Red, I highly suggest for you to play it. Hey, if the game gets successful enough, I might even release a chapter too. Look at that shameless plugin. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It took me a while to make. Maybe because I was uh, lazy, but we don't talk about it. Anyways, subscribe.